ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to more Resident Rise on the Childcraft server. Um, me and Infuego, we chat on email. And uh, he was like, oh yeah, I've done some work on the mansion, you know. Let me know what you, what you think when you pop on. <laughs> and uh, yes. Oh, dear lordy lordy. What a beautiful, beautiful sight this place is. Now I'm playing on a heavy lag at the moment. But uh, we'll, we'll get around that, it'll be fine. Just wanted to show this off before I get on with uh, what I wanted to have a little play with. Look at this, I'll do those lights better, obviously. But, uh, so yeah, he's created us a, a basement area, which is pretty damn sweet. One one floor lower than uh, previously, which is quite entertaining. So everything's offset by one, but all of this, all of this is going to go, obviously. We are getting rid of everything. So uh, everything seems to be behaving uh, at the moment. We're not maxing out on anything, which is nice. Oh, we needed the gunpowder. Yeah. Alright, we're going to need to get some more gunpowder storage going. Not bad, but I came on earlier and I discovered this. Compliments of Pengu. Alright. Tons and tons of gravel. So let me get uh, let me get a dolly, uh, I think. Yeah, there we go. I think we could just pretty much just chuck this over to where the other one is. Oh, hold it on. Hold it on, because I had a little redstone furnace over here just cooking gravel into cement for us. That's cool. So we'll knob that. Uh, there we go, eventually. That's cool. We may have to actually use you for gunpowder. Uh, I'll just, no, I'll just get an upgrade for that. Did you put that down? Can you put that down? Put it put it down, please. Why won't you put this down? Uh, oh, it did. Somewhere. Oh, I was already done it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Lag massive. All right, let's grab this barrel. Yay, thank you. And, uh, oh, this, this lag is torturous. But I do want to show you what's going on up top as well, because Enfuego has done some beautiful, beautiful things. Right, put you there. There we go. Awesome. Right, you chew through hmm, more stacks than you can hold, I think, for now. But that's great. We're going to get ourselves a hell of a lot more cement. Woohoo! Right, let me just chuck this off here. Um, actually, it probably wasn't worth doing. Oh, god dang the lag. Look at this. This is what I get for trying to trying to play while I'm uploading once again. But this is beautiful. Now, hmm, if we go out the front, <laughs> let me just fly out here, and then I'll do the turny turny. Oh, look, it's raining and it's night. Yay. Good me, well done. And wah! Holy crap! I mean, he wasn't kidding. Look at this. He's built us a whole front to the uh, the mansions, which means we've got like a, a room for hacks, and I think that's supposed to be in my bedroom on the side there. Hopefully, still. We've got a porchway all the way around the front. It's beautiful. I mean, he's. This is. Oh, the problem we had was obviously it was so raised <laughs> from before. It was ridiculous. But I, I like what he's done here. That's a great solid start and a good foundation to the front. Uh, we have the porchway with a sign. <laughs> yeah, so I heard you wanted a balcony. Yeah, <laughs> cheers, man. Thanks for that. That's awesome. We're going to get this working as well. And in here, the uh, the metal stuff up here, I, I plonked in. But uh, he hasn't done much except give us a roof to play with. And we've got some windows here, which is interesting. But I think these are just going to be filled in with that dark glass. Um, just to stop the uh, spawn rates from being affected. But it will allow us to look in. <laughs> We're over here, we'll be like, hey, look at our spawns. Woo. So I plonked down a little bit of this uh, dark factory block, this really, uh, the rusted metal one, because I want to keep the ceiling quite dark and sort of not the focus as you come in. So as you come in, all you're really going to be drawn to are the tanks around. So the ceiling is going to be very, very dark. And I think this factory block thing works quite well because this is going to be our spawn area for all the monsters, as I was saying. So yeah, I really just wanted to show you guys the layout that uh, he has prepared for us so far. Look at this, it is beautiful. Now the other thing, ah oh, yes, we've been discussing this. And one of the things we really like about um, the upstairs here is if you come up these ladders, or this this uh, stairway, sorry, oh, if I can land, you come in and you've sort of got this feeling that you're in a town, you're sort of walking through streets. You know, the streets and streets with windows and like doorways leading to places. And this is just the top floor of our mansion, so Oh, I love this roof as well. I think this is <laughs> this is so nice. We've done a lot here. He, he I, have, <laughs> I can't take any credit. Obviously, uh, we haven't done that much here. He has done a hell of a lot here. I've come in and dabbled and added the uh, the details later. Luro's paid us visits as well. But holy, holy moly, this is great. This is really coming together. So I want to work on sort of trying to get the rest of this room done today. Really, the design of the the look of it, anyhow. So we have it complete. And then we can work out the, the spawn area above and how we're going to handle all of that. I have eight machines in mind, eight different systems ready to roll that we're going to implement here. So we'll do that once the room's complete. So yes, I'm going to get on with this and I'll uh, I'll see you guys a little later. <sighs> well, here we are in Fuego's pad. 
cooking up some basic processor assemblies, which is cool. Now, the reason I'm here and not back at uh, not back at base is because at base we don't have, or oh, back at base, back at the mansion, back at the mansion we don't have any more machines, and I'll show you why in a second. Oh, right, it's going on to cook the surface quartz now, so we're producing silicon. That's cool. Let's grab that. So with these processor assemblies, da, 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 I can scoot my way around here because back at home we have an active portal, which is sweet. So let me just pop through here. Up. Bing. Now, truth be told, once that's turned off, ah, um, this has not progressed far. Oh, we have a box. Holding on. <gasps> it's all the stuff. It's all the stuff. It's all the stuff. That's brilliant. So, me and uh, Infuego did hook up. Now, it's been, I'm not going to lie, it's been a while since the first part of this episode. Um, a little while indeed. The crack pack has very much torn my attentions away from Resident Rise, but uh, I'm back. Back for an episode at least, so that's good. Um, we were discussing what we're going to do with this room, and one of the things was soul shards. Now, we haven't used these, and I haven't seen anybody actually use these in the new version, but I haven't looked at much Resident Rise stuff lately. But we are. We're going to use them. We're going to grab ourselves eight different mobs, or seven by the looks of it. One, yeah, seven, sorry. And he's prepared a paint of anthropods, weirdly, and soul stealer. Anthropods are the one things that we're not going to get for this place as well. That's awesome. Uh, and soul stealer enchantment, so we can go get them. And the plan remains true. I've completed the roof a little bit and we've added more of the framework here but we're going to have the soul cages up here because we can turn those puppies on and off and the method we've decided on using for manipulating the mobs up here is the kinetic attractors, the corporal attractors from Thorncraft so we'll be able to pull specific mobs to specific pits which is going to be pretty damn sweet and kill them in very fun ways if we do spiders I'm drowning them, I'm just saying, just putting it out there, that's the deal if we're doing that, yeah, I'm just, I don't like the spiders. But that's what we're going to do. However, <coughs> excuse me, it's all going to be run off a control panel, which is going to be here. Now, we were looking at uh, new mods, mods we haven't used before, and one of them um, is the Tinker's Mechworks, I believe it's called. Um, oh, hang on. Quart. I've got Quart in there. Let's have a look. Um, at Tinker. Timker. That's awesome. My typing has just got better and better. Nope, Tinker's... Tinker's M? No, I'll be here somewhere. Let's have a look. Now, there's this crazy cool wire, and it allows you to send redstone signals everywhere. Is it Mechwork? Is it Tinker's Mechworks? Or am I just being a plum? I think I'm being a plum. No, there it is. Length of wire, Tinker's Mechworks. Now, this is going to be fun. This will allow us to tie in redstone signals, uh, tie in redstone messages, uh, yeah, signals, what am I talking about, pulses, to uh, relay them around the base, but particularly off this control panel, because we were thinking about wireless redstone, but apparently it might have a few issues, and this might be a better way, so I believe we can hook up buttons from here using that wire, and then hooking them up to the different spawners and stuff directly, um, or via some sort of weird intermediate node. I don't know. I'm, in all honesty, I'm going to go check Die Wolf, so we'll see what I find out through that. But that's going to be the plan in here, which is fantastic. So I want to get on with building the control circuit and or the control board, and I will. I swear, I swear, I will. But there's other stuff to show you because, like I say, it's been a little while since I was last here. So we have um, our gate set up now, which is this entire door frame, which is freaking cool. And I've coloured up the sequences now. So if we go to Infuego, it's all fiery, which is awesome. If we uh, go to Pengu, it's all blue, which is pretty sweet. Good old Penguin Man. And if we go to Spawn, it's green. Way, hey, what are the odds? That's freaking cool. So we have access uh, in and around the map now, which is brilliant. Um, guards, good guards, is so much. In here, actually, this is the reason I wanted the processors, to be honest. What we've done is we've finally moved and increased the size of our um, our Mac just a little bit up into the ceiling. And we're going to have all of these as ME drives. Now, I was making a whole bunch. How many did I actually? I've got 13. We've got two there. Hmm. Might be all right. Because what we're thinking is this is going to be, like, you know, it's it's the room for the computer. It's, it's you know, it's place. It's a little bit scary of a thought. But let's grab 13, 14. I think we need 16. So we've got those other two. Let's do this. So the plan being that all of these will be the storage drives. And we were discussing it, and I think, one, one, one there, I think we were going to face them outwards, because then you'll be able to see all the lights and gubbins going off as you come into the room. That would be pretty sweet. And all the cabling can go inwards and upwards into this mainframe, as it were. We're going to have the system here, like the, the central CPU. It's going to be cool. Um, but I think, 
I think I want to, I need to get, we need to get it working basically. I need to hook all of this back up to this to some degree or another because we're all of our recipes in here. We can't actually craft anything at the moment. And then we're going to have to hook up all the TE machines as well, but that's going to be done downstairs, which is somewhere else I have to show you in a second as well. It's truly ridiculous the amount of work that has gone on in this mansion recently. It's wonderful. Now, the thing is, uh, we're going to need the power. We could put the power and tuck it away upstairs, I suppose, and power the Mac up there with a control unit. But it would be nice to have something along here. Maybe, mm, I don't know, maybe we can just put two monitors and the crafting and the and the, uh, and the the ME controller up there. Oh, but then we need the power as well. I don't know. I'm going to have to think on that. I don't want to faff around too much. Down here in the darkest depths of <laughs> the uh, the basement, as it were, the crypt. We've done a little bit more work. You can see a little bit of damage up there <laughs> for the, uh, the portal, which Infuego put together the other night. And we've started looking at what we're going to do with the machines. Now, this is cool. Um, oh, it's so freaking dark. Do I have any torches or anything? I do have my, uh, my little witchery wand. E. There we go. He was pointing out that this stuff... Uh, what is it? It's uh, extra, utilities, extra utilities edged stone bricks. Do this. They frame uh, whatever you place in them. So that's really cool. I think we're going to embed machines into this wall. And we're going to have a whole bunch of mechanism stuff. Because neither one of us has played with it that much. Um, and get that rolling, so that could be interesting. And that's all up to like five times ore processing or something silly. Maybe we'll get on with that, it'll be kind of cool. But this is clear, anyhow, which is awesome. And here we're going to have a brand new thing, which is our big reactor. It's definitely going to go. We're going to get rid of the redstone powered power system because, you know, it's awesome, but it's weak in comparison. And I think uh, a big reactor would be awesome, definitely. Now, Always with the cars going past. Always when I'm recording. Um, what was I saying? Do, 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 do. Yes, let's... Mm, now, I do I do want to do something here. I want to get something working. Um, I reckon... I reckon we just need to transfer this up. So, give me my bits and burbs. Let's grab you and you. Give me that. Thank you. And I think, for now, if we place the Tesseract there... That's there. This could work out quite nicely. Um, we'll take the crafting terminal. What? What was it? Oh, I didn't know it did that. Huh. Crazy. Uh, and the crafting monitor. Bye, monitor. Let's go grab that quickly. Up oh, and come back out. There we go. Because the thing is, I want to set up the my, my pouches again. I haven't got pouch access at the moment because nothing's working. So I can't get in and out of anywhere. So every crafting terminal, every crafting monitor. What if we put these just on the side. Is this going to work? Does this look... Mm, it almost gives it a bit of a face. Kinda. We could possibly just chuck in some superfluous cables, although I can't do whack now because I haven't... Oh, no. No, I've got it all the wrong way around. I've got to take the cables out. Right. Let me get back to you guys. <laughs> all right. So I've got it hooked up a little bit more. I managed to uh, get the cables back out of the system, bring them back again, and uh, I transferred over the drives that we had in the other 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 ME drives over there, sorry, the, the cells, god guards, what are these things, hang on, yeah, storage S cells, storage cells, yeah, why not we call them storage cells, however, I hooked it all up and I made it all symmetrical, but what I wanted to show you is something I didn't realise about these things at all, is that around the back of these things, around the back of these things, you get this, it's a display, which is awesome. I didn't realise it did that at all. So we've got these kind of cool bars denoting all this information about the drives, which is pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, that will be the plan. We'll get all the other drives hooked up somehow. In fact, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of cabling now. Because um, I'm wondering, because we can do all sorts of fun with these, essentially. So we can have, like, a little walkway. Doesn't need to be. And I think that counts. I think that counts as a drive. So if I just chuck it in down here now... They should all be connected. That's freaking awesome. So that's all we need. But I think, you know, for to make it look kind of cool, we could just do that. Why not? Why not? So we're going to build ourselves a sort of a fake network. And I don't hope, I don't hope, I don't think adding all these extra cables is going to make any difference, really, to how it all operates. And it should look pretty cool, hopefully. <laughs> now, we've got uh, a couple more drives. We've got th two here. Let's go grab these last two. Gimme. Thank you. And I can put these in place because that will whoop, that will give us a load of lag. That's awesome <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Crazy. So that's there, 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 and there, and boom, our framework is up, which is pretty cool. Woohoo! That's exciting stuff. We can get access to it directly at the front here. It's like hello, Hal. Hi, Hal. How are you doing? We could probably do with bringing those down, maybe an extra notch. Mm. With all the cabling and stuff going on, we could easily move them down. 
Do you have a pick? Oh no, dude. Oh no, dude. Not yet. Yeah. Oops. He's. Uh, I think he's getting into the Thorncraft quite heavily at the moment, which is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet indeed. Right. Let me try. Where did all my cables go? Did I put them away? What a fool. What a fool. Cable, just force of habit whenever you go up to an ME terminal. Clear your inventory. Chuck out what you don't need. Now if I grab that and that. Let's see how this. I'll keep looking around and yeah, sorry dude. You will have to for the minute. Uh, we'll do that. Put you there. And you there maybe. <laughs> Could be interesting. Let's uh, just complete that little part of the network. How does that look? Coolish, <laughs> I guess. That's pretty cool. I can get rid of that. No, I think I actually prefer it with it in the middle. Anyhow, this is this is me doodling now. We can do this for countless hours. But the extra plan is that we're going to have terminals, hopefully in all the different rooms around the uh, the mansion, uh, either coming down from the ceiling or up from the floor, freestanding rather than embedded in the walls. So that could be quite cool. We're just going to have a, a shed ton of uh, these crafting terminals everywhere. I think is the plan, but this is looking quite cool. The framework is coming alive. Hacks has been born. Now we'll we'll see what Infuego says. I'll have a little chat with him, see if he likes what we've done with it. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So, oh, look at my map again. Zoom out a bit, there we go, lovely. Uh, so yeah, the plan is to further um, like build a network out. I mean, I don't know exactly how we're gonna do it, um, but I guess we can have cables running across the ceiling somehow in various methods and mannerisms going off to the different um, parts of the mansion. Let's have a look. Uh, would this work? Yeah, I think I don't, I don't mind that at all. I think it'll look quite cool running across the ceilings. We can even further decorate them because, you know, why not? And uh, see what we can do about getting them through the walls. <laughs> Interesting stuff. All right. Let me go uh, let me go have a little look around and I'll get right back to you. Cool. That's looking pretty meaty, actually. Hmm. All right, I've sort of did a little bit more work on the old server, but I realised on the side it's looking a little bit flat, and I'm going to have to rush through this last bit because I'm rapidly running out of time. But I ended up looking at this futuristic armour plating block from Chisel, and I think it works for me. I don't know, I'll have to discuss this within Fuego, but I'm liking how it's kind of looking. This is still a bit messy, it could be tweaked, but like I was saying, the edges look a little bit flat, so I had a thought, and what I think I'll do is let's get some get a few more carpenter slopes, we're going to need more of those. Uh, can I actually craft any of these? Uh, apparently I can, good. That's awesome. Uh, so we grab that and we need more of the footer. Oh, oh, not footer. Literally future, that's awesome. And somewhere around here I've got my chisel. I emptied all my stuff out so I could uh, shift all the drives over and I haven't put it back since. So, if we grab you and that, and some of you, that's awesome, I like that block. What I was thinking that we could do is we could plonk a little area down like that to separate the two, and then just, it's a really small detail, but possibly, uh, it looks kind of whack now, I look at it. <laughs> I don't like, it's a shame the transition doesn't work with this uh, these smooth blocks. I don't mind them on the sides here, I think it adds a sort of a plating look, which looks kind of awesome. But that does not look kind of awesome. That looks kind of shitty, really, to be honest. Yeah, that's a shame. Oh well, I'll have to think of something else for that. <laughs> but it's coming together anyhow. Yeah, I, I think I think we can get away with this. I don't know. I've left a window on the front with this nice dark glass, but that may or may not stay. I think we kind of want sort of an eye there of some description, which would be pretty sweet. We shall see. And around here we've got access to the inside of the mainframe, so I can imagine, you know, so 2001 at the end of it is like Daisy, Daisy, and we're like dragging out all the drives. Uh, actually, on that front, they should be on the inside, really, shouldn't they? Maybe we'll switch them around. I don't know. <laughs> we shall see. But yeah, there you go, guys. The start of our mainframe hacks, Hal, whatever we want to call him, he's been born. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll uh, I'll try and get some more stuff done. Like I said, Fcraft is dragging my attentions away massively at the moment. The PvP is great fun, but uh, I do want to get some stuff done here. There's been so much. So much has been accomplished in such a small amount of time, as it were, but um, also in Fuego has just been the man. Oh, hello. How did I miss that last time? That must be how you make the new uh, the new crystals. Cool. Well, on that note, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to show you where we dumped all the last little boxes, which is just this, which is kind of cool. All of the bits from down in the basement got stashed up here. Spare armor got moved over. And unfortunately, I believe we have lost Brink and we have lost Luro.
neither one of them could play anymore for various technical reasons and other odds and sods. So uh, you will be missed, my friends. But never mind. We shall see if some new peeps will join us at some point later. But there you go, guys and girls. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me here once again. And uh, yeah, let's see how this develops. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.